guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Datadog. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, cloud and containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. The question is how to monitor Apache HTTP using Datadog. Okay, so prior to that, we discuss about uh, like how this will work. So this is the Datadog SaaS based software. This is the agent which is installed in any boxes. It can be Linux, Windows, whatever it is. And then this is Apache. And now the question is how this agent can collect the matrices from Apache. So I just said right last time. Apache will publish. Yeah, Apache will publish all the matrices at certain endpoint, and that endpoint publishing will be done by one module called uh, mod status in Apache. And after that, agent I will ask uh, to get it the matrices from the that endpoint that particular IP, uh, port number, IP address, and port number and then collect that from the endpoint and send to the datadog and that's where you get that datadog and then you can start monitoring it so conceptually if you have understood can i show you the demo all of you all of you if you don't mind can you repeat it once yeah so here this is a one server this is apache installed so first thing I need to expose the matrices of Apache to the one, one endpoint, one URL port number. How can you do that? So there is one module in, is available, which is called uh, mod status module of Apache that I will enable it in front of you. So once that is done, uh, this endpoint will be activated with the matrix available and agent can go and pick it up the matrix from this particular endpoint end about, uh, about the Apache and send back to the data log. Make sense, all of you? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so <clears throat> which tutorial we are going to follow? So we'll follow this tutorial, which has a step-by-step -step informations and like that. So look at this here. So these are the matrices you get it Apache from Apache. So first thing, install the Datadog agent. Did I install it? Yes, I have already installation done, which you know that. Now, second thing, install HTTPD server, either in Ubuntu or CentOS. So I will go and install it to uh, HTTP server. So how do I do that? So here, how to install and configure HTTP server. So this is for Ubuntu and this is for CentOS. I have, I have a CentOS. So I'll do that. So here I'll run this command. Installing this command will install the Apache server. Yes. And then this command will start the Apache server. This command will enable the Apache server probably for tomorrow we need it. And we'll check the status of this. See it's running. So good. Now, uh, I would like to create one file, which is like this. Okay, so this file, this is a website actually. This is the file we, I'm going to create it. So here, vi, insert, this is HTML code, paste it, wq, save and exit, done. So this, you can do that, you cannot do that, it's up to you. These two few commands is just for the exception of the firewall. Uh, in this, you don't need it because I have opened up all the firewall. So this command, even though if you are not running and it's not running, that's okay because I'm controlling the firewall through the security group of AWS. So if you're using in your laptop and all, VM and all, then you, you need this. Now, can I check this uh, IP address? So let me go and check my IP address is this one and Apache server is up and upper up or not here it is so Apache server is running so now this is how we can install the Apache server 
and validate it. So this step number two, are you comfortable, all of you? All of you? Yes. Okay. Now step number three. So here click on the integration and using the left bar navigation. This you have done it actually. So it's a repeat. So for that, we'll go for a data doc. Where is data doc? Ah, so here you'll go to the integrations, click on it. And Apache, this time I'll search for Apache. And here you have Apache. Now for me it's installed because it's a old account, but click on it. And now you will little bit spend time, okay? Spend time with overview, data collected, posts, logs, monitors. Just read it, get comfortable with the UI, that's important, and configurations. So here you have instruction, install the agent on your Apache server. Did you install? Yes, I did. And this is step number two. Enable the mod status, which I, I was telling you, right? In this image, the Apache need to publish all the matrices at certain endpoint. That module name was mod status. So you have to do this mod status and enable extended status. This is something which they have said it, but how to do that? That I'm going to show you. So come back to my tutorial here and uh, uh, this one and uh, here. Uh, here this is the configurations and now this step you have to do that okay so first enable the mod status I'll click on open up the new now this is about the mode status if you really want to know just learn some of the stuff about mode status and this you can do in the CentOS and Red Hat and this you can do in Ubuntu so right now I'm doing this one so basically it's nothing great this is the file which you can find in the configuration file of Apache. You have to modify this file and there will be one entry which is this one. Below that, this entry you have to add it. What exactly it will do? So you are enabling the mod status module and saying that, okay, uh, make it available at this path. So your IP address and slash this path, your mod status uh, matrix will be available. Now this is important. This you can give the local IP address, private IP address and all stuff like that. So I'll just go ahead and create this here. My IP address for this machine is IPA. Mm. Can you tell me what is my IP address all of you? Private IP address. All of you hello I'm audible right hello audible yes what is my IP address here 13 232 13 no no where is 13 by the way? Mm. No, no, no. I'm saying you look at the screen and then tell me IP address. 13, the one you okay. can give it to you, that's a public IP address. 171. Yes. So always look at this. Why I'm stretching this point? Because I know that probably you will ask me a question what IP address. So you should not use your public IP address, the one which I gave it to you, connect. This is the real IP address which I did not give it to you, you have to get it. So ETH0, you have to read this, this is your Ethernet table, and you have to do that. So I modify this IP address here, and this code is ready. Now what I'll do, I'll just open up this file, VI editor, in this, clear the screen, and locate that entry, which entry? So locate this document root entry. You can go slowly if you don't understand this, a VI editor, but I'm just searching it, and here it is. So this is the entry I was looking for it, and after this entry, add this content. Okay. Insert, paste, enter. So this is the content you added. So remember, this is the URL on which 
the matrix will be published save it and now after that you have to <clears throat> check if configuration you modify correctly or not this command will check the configuration of our watch and here i see syntax okay that means the configuration which i modify for this file it's okay after that i'll restart this and after that i will see are we having matrix available at this url or not so ip address the one which i give it to you service status see here all the matrices is coming slowly and then this this url is active now so what i did in this image i just configure apache and i said apache hey apache can you please publish your matrices at certain endpoint and this is your endpoint did you understand all of you yes after that second thing which i am going to do configure the agent to take the input from that endpoint so how do i do that and the process i think by now you should be comfortable the process is same uh, will be something similar so you have to go to the uh, let me show you the uh, documents so you will not get lost see here this is the agent configuration so what you have to do you have to go to the this file add this path okay and restart the agent that's all so log collections i'm not teaching you right now we'll cover later but this is what you have to do that so now can we do that so here go to uh, back go to apache dot d and here conf dot yaml cp and same process which you do it in the docker and i will just first check the content of the file and here in it config scroll little down till you find instance and here see instances are here and this is the one instance so right now this address is a right address actually so i can use this ip address from outside but if you see from the local host also you can reach out to this this location correct now all of you all of you yes yes sir yeah so with that i think configuration it was already in place and but if you want to change this local host to some other ip address that means uh, this is a one more machines and this is apache installed and apache exposed that to this endpoint so if you want to tell this agent hey agent you can go to the some different machines also so that you can do that so here you can add one more line like this and do that okay so this is already in place so restart the agent so how do i do that so control c system ctl restart httpd and i did this now everything is done now in order to see that some 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 metrics i need to generate some traffic so go to the web server this is my web server and keep refreshing few times manually this will be real really it will be done in the production server by the end users but just because i want some metrics and keep clicking f5 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 by so many times i did this and then finally i'll go back to the data doc and here i'll say install integration which is already done for me and then go back to the explorer and validate whether you got the metrics or not so let me go and check this metrics is apache and you see it has come so this matrix has come and now you can analyze this matrix and get it done so this is how uh, i taught you the second integrations basically and that is called apache so see here uh, there is some issues in the integration which integrations i think it's for uh, apache so here uh, there is some issues and this is called not found okay so this integration the one which you are seeing it uh, this ip address is not active so you can ignore it this is the my older integration issues not now so yeah everything use if you see the data in the explorer that is okay so guys did you understand that uh, apache integrations and stuff like that all of you
all of you. You configured endpoint as well in this, right? Endpoint I configured in the configuration file, which is here. So it was there, so I did left it as it is. Okay. See here. Yep. Okay. It was there. So it was localhost. Localhost means the same machine. So, okay. so it was there. Server status. See that server status URL. This is the one where the matrix is available. Okay. So this is <clears throat> this is uh, this is the topic which is called how to monitor Apache server. So now that I'm creating a pattern. So now you did the Docker which was exposing themselves. So I did not configure Docker, but agent. I you saw that Apache which was not enabled by default, enable Apache and then agent configuration. So like that, every tools which you want to configure and get the capture the matrix, you have to enable uh, those matrices at certain points and ask uh, agent to grab it from that location. So agent will do nothing but collecting from the sources. Agent will collect and send to Datadog. So now you can check this config. So Datadog uh, agent config check. Okay, and here let me see that HTTPD is there or not. So here it is. So if you have some error and all, you will see that here. But right now there's no error. So I did Apache, I did Docker, and all that. Makes sense, guys? All of you? Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, if you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC, kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlist and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy!